are here with one of our long-standing sponsors for our live sports coverage. We're at Waddell's Recycling, Salvage. They do a number of different things, so I'm just going to call it Waddell's. <laughs> and joining me today is Colby Gibson, who, of course, has been working here the majority of your married life. Yes. Okay. Yep. yep. 14 years. <laughs> 14 so. years. So that's an easy way to remember your anniversary. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep. <laughs> uh, tell me about the history that you know with Waddell's. Uh, so it started with my father-in-law years and years ago. Um, he is, he's done a number of different things, but he's been in the scrap business most of his life. Um, it's something he's always enjoyed. So and it's just progressed into a bigger and bigger operation over the years. So, and it, it started out with, with him um, and then his two sons, Kalen and Brandon, both uh, helping out at a very, very young age. And then I came on board about 14 years ago. What type of service is your top service? So we do a little bit of everything. Um, we will take anybody from a Kroger bag of cans up to somebody that had a whole semi-trailer full of cans. Um, we just try to we try to treat everybody the same. Uh, we just try to provide the same good service to everybody we can, whether you're just a little bitty guy scrapping a little bit of metal or you have a large demolition project uh, with tons and tons and tons of steel. So. Awesome. We're going to get a tour and see some of the tools that they use in order to do their job. How large is the layout? Uh, so this facility here is 40 acres um, and it's laid out. When you pull in the parking lot, you'll come in and the scales are right here. Um, we've got red lights, green lights to tell you when to pull on and off the scales. Uh, the girls in the office will weigh you and then you just go to the back with your steel. Um, all the steel back gets unloaded in the back and you weigh back out. And then we have our non-ferrous building, which is to the right when you pull in. Um, all your stuff like your copper, your brass, your aluminum, your Coke cans, all that type of stuff goes in this building and gets segregated separately. And and then you recycle that, yes. is that it? Yep, so we will take it, we will process it, get it ready for the meal, a shredder, wherever it's going uh, for its final destination to get melted back down and turned back into a new product. Yeah, we're putting that in there, so how much is that? That's 1,120 pounds. And how many cans? Around 35,000. 35,000. Because when I Google it, it says it takes 32 cans to make a pound. That'll go to a place, those will probably go to a place, and they will get stuck great in, a, in, in an injection furnace, and they'll get made back into new cans. So, Colby, to me, this looks like it's, a, it's always busy. Yes. <laughs> so, explain to me, what is this? So, that is a, uh, that's a Genesis stick shear. Um, it's used mainly to downsize large scrap. Um, you can cut up, you know, dozers with it, school buses, uh, just any type of big heavy iron. We use that to prepare it either down to a mill spec or we've got another shear on the pad back here that will prepare it small enough to go into it. And then the claw. Uh, there's several of the claws. As everybody, <laughs> likes the, everybody likes the claws, watching them work, uh, and the magnets as well. Um, they're just used to unload people's scrap. Uh, load trucks out, process scrap. Uh, it just, it makes life easy for us. So we have a lot of those machines around here. Um, it just makes it easier for us and makes it easier to unload customers because that's kind of what it's about too. You know, the easier people get in and out, the better off they are and the more they like it, so. Now the magnet, does it only pick up metal or does it pick up other types? It of will only pick up magnetic steel. Okay. Um, so any type of brass, copper, aluminum, it will not pick up. Um, but it makes it super nice for small pieces of steel that you would have to pick up piece by piece with your hand. It'll pick up several thousand pounds at one time and just make you know hours of work in a minute. So here we've got three magnets uh, and we've got four uh, machines with grapples and then we've also got four wheel loaders. Uh, those are used a lot to unload cars off customers, junk, junk cars, uh -huh. and then crush them in the car crusher, uh, stuff like that. So there's a lot of moving pieces going around here all day long. Now, we walk back here, not everybody gets to walk back here, but it looks like you have part of our bus garage. <laughs> yeah, so we buy a little bit of everything. We buy semi-trucks and cut them up. Uh, we buy school buses and cut them up. Just anything that's at the end of the life span for it, you know, it comes here to get recycled and then turned back into new steel. How many days a week are you open? Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, seven to four, and then Saturday from seven to one. Now, we had talked before about some new things that you offer, yep. right? In terms yep. of dropping off and picking yep. up. So we have a whole lot of roll-off boxes. Um, dumpster service has gotten super popular. Um, it's easy to take a 22 foot long dumpster and put all your scrap in it. And then we come pick it back up, weigh it in, pay you for it. 
Um, we like, and it's kind of on that, you know, like we talked about up front. You can do it with smaller stuff, you know, help out individuals clean out a barn, or we can go up to a big tear down at a factory, or just you know, general scrap that rotates all the time from a factory. So uh -huh. a little bit of everybody. Now we're saying scrap, not uh -huh. trash. Yes. Yep. Yep. So we are into recycling any type of metal. Uh, we don't do any paper, plastics, cardboard, any of that stuff. That would be a whole nother realm of things to get into and it it would take a whole lot more people. Now another thing is you do pick apart. Yep, uh, yep. So we save some cars that we think still have some parts left on that may be valuable or, or say it's an older car that they're not going to make that car again. Right, um, right. We may only sell one part off of it and it may sit here a year. but. That right guy comes along and, and gets it, and you know we hate seeing it get crushed if it's still got a little bit of you know usable stuff left in it. So uh, we can pull it, they can pull it, we can price it either way. You all are such good stewards and sponsors of uh, our schools, area schools. Why is that important to you? Uh, well, I mean we're rooted in this community. This is where we're from. We live here. Our kids go here. Um, you know we've got family that works there and stuff. So. It's just a big part to us. You know, we like to give to people whenever we can. Um, and then the schools is just a really helpful place to do that in. Uh, what do you think people would be most surprised about this facility? So our number one thing is cleanliness. Uh, a junkyard or scrap yard typically has a reputation for being nasty, flat tires, uh, just just not well kept. Uh, we, we try everything we can to keep this place really clean, keep everything picked up. Um, and that's the number one thing a lot of people say they've never been here is wow, it's clean. You know, I wasn't surprised, you know, I wasn't expecting to see this, so. Yeah, and it's not the landfill. No, no. <laughs> okay. No, it's all scrap. Um, all the customers unload on the concrete pad back here in the back. Um, it stays blowed off, swept off. Um, we just try to, it's, it's hard, but we try to keep it as clean as we can just to make it simple like we talked about. People come in here, get unloaded, and get back out you know, and get their money. Now, do you pick up cars? Yes, yep, we do have a rollback. Um, you just call the office and tell them, hey, I've got, a, I've got a junk car that's no longer good to me or it's at the end of its life. And yeah, we can send our rollback out to pick it up gladly. Mm -hmm. So, and then you'll still get paid for it, so. That's awesome. Uh, well, Kobe, I wanna thank you okay. for uh, having me here today and showing me around. And we did talk about your location. Yes. And sometimes people may be confused with, with where you're located. Yes. So let's explain that again. So we're right off exit 91, uh, about a mile off exit 91. It's 311 Steel Drive is the address. We're right next door to Doug's Towing and Recovery. Uh, they've been there a long time, pretty easy to find as well. Um, if they ever have any questions, they can call us at 270-982-7206, and we'll be glad to give them directions how to get here. Uh, we're kind of at the dead end of this street almost, so it's kind of, you know, we're not out on the main road, but that we should be pretty easy to find for everyone. Okay, well, thank you again, Kobe. Right, no problem, thank and, you all. Uh, thanks for the sponsorship, yep. and uh, we're gonna get back to some of those exciting games.